Iron Creek runs downstream about three miles to the Tiffin River, and the Tiffin River then dumps into the Maumee River, and the Maumee is the leading contributor of dissolved reactive phosphorus in sediment to Lake Erie. There are a lot of different reasons for it, but the primary source is excess phosphorus runoff that's finding its way into fresh water bodies, and then as the water heats up, that phosphorus blooms into algae. In, in a lot of cases coming from, from fertilizer and nutrient runoff, it's coming from um, water systems or, or septic systems rather that haven't been maintained properly. It's not just a bit of scum floating on the top. This is something totally different. This is green pea soup that's thick. It looks like you can walk on it. And so the economy associated with the lake is a $11 billion plus industry. And so it affects charter boat fishing. It affects the landowners that live alongside the lake and their property values. It affects all the recreation industry because people don't want to come to the lake when the lake is green. When we had the water crisis in Toledo, our family that lives in Toledo went days without water and then after that the fear of, it, you say it's safe to drink, is it safe to drink? Is it safe to bathe in? You know, what about our kids? It's our backyard, so to, to allow your kids to go out and, and take a boat and go out and go fishing and go out in East Harbor here and catch a, a bunch of bluegill and come back and we clean them and eat them that night. Mm -hmm. A lot of people envy us what we get to be able to do, you know. They come up every weekend to get to what I get to do every day. It makes me feel really good to know that we're, we're doing the best we can to make this farm sustainable. The future, I think, is awesome. When you start understanding this process of improving the land and, and seeing results like we've been seeing. I do have a lot of hope for Lake Erie. The universities, the governments, conservationists, the farm community. There's a lot of different players that have made it a point to step up and say, yeah, let's figure this thing out. The George Barley Water Prize is about removing phosphorus from fresh water and finding a way to repurpose it. The funding will provide a $10 million prize to the organization or institution that figures out that solution. What's happened along the way is we've become much more aware of how problematic this issue is across the country, across the world. I really think we can do it. I really think that there's a fix here, and I really think it's coming together as a community and deciding that this is how we want our land and our water to look and to be.